What's going on? What's going on? Thank you guys for tuning in to Terry's Take. Much appreciated for you stopping by. Could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me, baby. Nah. So um, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, before we before we get started, comment below and let me know what you guys think of the fight. Um, round by round, what you think? You know, how how was you scoring it? You know, what what would you think each guy did wrong? What you what you think they did right? I want to start by saying that uh. Sean Porter put up a really gutsy performance, man. And um, I really appreciate him. I just want to say that. I want to start off, I want to prefer preference this video by saying that I appreciate Sean Porter. You know what I mean? Um, I thought I thought the I thought the post fight interview with Sean Porter was very it was very it was very um, unfortunate. I think that's the perfect word to go with. I think it was very unfortunate. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, we're not in his camp. We don't know what's going on. But from what I've seen fight night tonight, I thought that he gave a grade A effort. I think he was in the ring with the once in a generation talent. You know what I'm saying? Um, his father says something to the effects of, uh, you know, if he if, if he would have performed like he would have wanted him to perform or like or, or like he was supposed to perform, it would have been a different outcome. Again, we're fans. We're not in his camp, but I think it's I think it's a little bit disingenuous to to to, to say something like that when you when you're staring in the opposite corner of Terrence Crawford, a once in a generation talent. You know what I mean? Um, I just want to say that, man. I just, I just wanted to start this video off and and, and really say. You know, from a, from a fan's perspective, I'm, I'm proud of Sean Porter, man. He's he's always given us great A fights. We've we've never had to wonder if, if, if Sean Porter going to show up to fight tonight. Never. Always came ready. Always came game. We never had to we, we never had to do that. And I just want to say thank you to Sean Porter. You know what I mean? As a fan. Um, rounds one. Let's get into the rounds. Rounds round one. I had Porter winning. I like his energy. I like his angles. I knew he was going to come like this. I like his energy. I like his angles. I like the way he was pivoting, giving if, if, giving Crawford different looks. Um, he was very, he was very uneasy. He was in and out. He was he was he was he was awkward. He was he was he was frustrating to watch as a Crawford fan. So I can only imagine how frustrated Crawford was in the fight. You know what I mean? So um, I gave round one to Sean. I gave round two to, to Crawford. Some of those some of those early rounds could be swing rounds. So if you swung. Uh, you know some of those rounds either way I'm not mad at you you know what I mean and please don't be mad at me that this is how I seen the fight I gave round two to, to, to Crawford I thought he stepped it up a little bit round three I gave it to Sean um, I thought he continued what he was doing in round one you know what I mean um, he came out he pressed he was hitting he was he was hitting Crawford with some really good shots and Crawford looked uneasy Crawford looked uneasy I was kind of sitting there like hey, I don't know about this one you know what I mean um, round four, I gave it to Crawford. I thought Crawford was beginning to establish himself a little bit. He, it, I thought the fight was kind of slowing down for him a little bit at that point. A little, not, not much, but a little bit. Round five, I gave it to Porter. I thought Porter was busier. I thought he had the better shots. I think in that round, I thought he may have hurt Crawford. He was, he was either in round three or round five. It was, it was an odd round. Round six. I gave it to Crawford, and from there on, I gave it to Crawford. I thought Crawford figured, f fully figured him out after, after round six. That's when it's that 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 that's when it started, and I was like, you know what? This 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 looks like Terrence Crawford of old. That's when Crawford started walking him down a little bit more. He was walking him down throughout the fight, but Porter would angle him or you know do something to to switch it in his favor. From round six on, it was just Crawford. You know what I mean? The bot I think the body the, the body punches started to take more of effect on him from round six on. And um it was a Terrence it was a Terrence Crawford fight after that. I thought uh I thought Porter showed great heart, but he was again, he was in with a guy that is a is a generational talent. Sean po I mean Terrence Crawford is a is a generational talent. When you think of switch hitters, when you think of guys that can switch hit that's effective from southpaw, that that's as effective from the southpaw position as well as the orthodox position, 
not a lot of guys come to mind. You know what I'm saying? Crawford and a, and a new young guy out of Philadelphia named Jerron Boots Ennis. I'm, you know, I'm sure there's more throughout the history. I mean, come on, you know, you got guys, you got guys that switch hit, but I'm talking about to that level, to where you you don't notice a drop off from when he switched from orthodox to southpaw. It's not been a lot of guys in the history of boxing that can do that. So, I thought Terence Crawford looked really good tonight. He looked strong. He was he was he was muscling and 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 picking, showing up and moving him. I thought that that was a play on the mind. I thought Terrence Crawford was doing that more so to let Sean know that yo you you know I'm 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 the, I'm the stronger guy in in the ring tonight. I thought that that was a play on the mind, and I thought that it was a it was a it was a, it was a very it was a, it was it was a it was a play on the mind. It was very strategic. I thought the action overall was beautiful. The action overall was beautiful. Um, again, I have no gripes on each side. I thought each side came to fight. It was a great. It was a beautiful, beautiful action packed fight. Um, they were thinking a lot in the first round, the second round, a lot of, a lot, a lot of, you know, a lot of in and out, a lot of posturing, you know what I mean? It was a lot of, um, a lot of eye candy to see what the other guy was going to do. Great action, great action fight, man. Um, I just, I I can't, I can't get over Porter's, uh, post fight talk though. That, that kind of hurt me, man, to see him put his head down like that. That was very unfortunate. I'm sure his father's upset with him because he because they listen. They, you know they they, they want to win. Everybody wants to win. You know what I mean. And to get stopped like that, the first guy to ever stop Sean Porter, that's huge. That's huge. But um, you know, congratulations to to Terrence Crawford. Man, he looked tremendous. Definitely the best fighter at at 147 for me. Um, my guy Jerron Ennis. I think I, I don't I don't think he's I think. I think he's a I think he's a level or two below. And, you know, I I know a lot of people may feel different, but I just feel like experience separates them. I don't think it's so much skill. I think it's this the, the experience between the two. I think Jerron is on his way. He's he's on his way. He may even be there. We don't know. We don't know until these guys get in the ring, right? But that's how I feel. I feel like I feel like Crawford's number one, Spence is number two. And then after that, every, everybody after that, whoa. You you may even be able to put uh, Porter number three. I think Porter, I think you could argue that Sean Porter is number three. For, uh, well, if Boots fought Porter, he would have never seen that style before. He would have never seen those angles, that aggression. That'd be something different for him. I don't know. I think Boots will win that fight. I think he will figure him out after a while. But until I see it. You know, but um, let me go through. Let me let me go through some of the tweets that I was tweeting out. Um, if you guys don't know, if you, if you if you guys are following me on Twitter, if you not guys are not following me on Twitter, it's at Terry's Take, and that's Terry's underscore Take. So my first tweet was high level thinking in there right now. They are both trying to set traps, but it's kind of funny to watch because they because they both kind of know each because they both know each other. They know they know exactly what the other one is trying to do. Awesome to watch. And it was, it was awesome to watch. I, I, it was a lot of posturing, a lot of, a lot of feints, you know what I mean? Trying to get the other one out of position because again, they know each other. They went, they was in the amateurs together. You know what I mean? Next tweet. I said, Porter's athleticism jumping in and out with shots is disrupting, disrupting uh, Bud's timing. He's smiling, but he's frustrated a bit too. Yes. The in and out, you know, the pivoting. All that stuff, it was frustrating, Bud. Bud couldn't, Bud didn't really, again, Bud didn't really get the timing down to around the sixth round, really. You know what I mean? And that's what Sean Porter does. Sean Porter does that to everybody. Next tweet, I said, man, I don't I don't think you guys under, yeah, this one was real. I said, man, I don't think you guys understand the caliber of athletes we are witnessing right now. The high level of talent, beautiful action. And I thought it was beautiful action. I thought it was beautiful action. I thought the athleticism was 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 great. Um, these are top notch athletes we were watching tonight. All of these guys really are, but I just felt like always felt Sean Porter was a tremendous athlete. You know what I mean? And you know Crawford as well. So I said round nine was the most. This was this was the round right before the knockout. I said round nine was the most dominant round from either fighter the whole fight. Crawford's round easy. That said, Sean Porter is in tremendous shape to take those shots. He was. 
he was in tremendous shape to take those shots. Tremendous shape. He was taking some really, really good body shots towards the middle of the rounds. And he was eating them. Then I said, beautiful finish from Crawford. He caught Sean coming in, lunging head first. He did. That's how he, that's how he, he caught him with that with that left uppercut, I believe. I said it was it was all she wrote. Awesome action from both guys until it lasted. Bud figured out the speed and awkwardness of Sean around round six. I had him winning everything since. Heartbroken for Sean. And I was heartbroken for Sean. You know what I mean? Because he's an awesome guy. He 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 he, he treats the treats the sport right. He treats his body right. And he always comes ready. And um yeah, man. So that's how I had it. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the fight. Who do you have pound for pound number one? I still say we should probably keep Canelo at pound for pound number one because of his accomplishments. But you could argue as far as skill, who you got. But as far as as far as accomplishments, I'm a I'm a I'm a edge Canelo in that. You know what I mean? So let me know what you think down below. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Until next time, peace.